We're now going to assemble the remainder of the carriage. So we need to take the carriage top plate, the other stepper motor, bag number 7, and the Y belt from bag number 9. We'll get to that in a minute. So, we place the Y stepper motor on top of the carriage plate with the connector pointing forwards and secure it from underneath with four small countersunk screws. Use the POSI 1 screwdriver to tighten them. Again, take care not to over tighten in case you strip the threads on the motor face. Next, take the four long screws and pass them through the mounting holes in the carriage top plate. And we'll set this aside just now. Get the lower plate back, that's the one with all the bearings on it, and take the Y belt out of bag number 9. There's two belts in here and the Y belt is the shorter of the two. It also has a small black plastic fitting at one end. The Y belt needs to be placed on top of the bottom carriage plate with the teeth of the belt pointing towards the right and the black plastic connector towards the rear. In the middle, pull the belt round the two guide rollers. When the top carriage plate is placed onto this, the stepper motor pulley will be located in the centre here. Take the top plate again and holding all these four screws with your left hand, put the four spacing bushings over the screws. Then, while holding the spacers to ensure they don't fall off, this is a tricky part, place the top carriage plate onto the bottom one, ensuring that the motor pulley goes into the loop of the belt. Hopefully you can see that there. And you can now tighten down the four screws with the POSI number one screwdriver. Again, take care not to over tighten because these are being threaded directly into the plastic of the lower carriage plate. Check that the Y belt is free to move. And it is. So the carriage assembly is now fully complete. And we can move on to the next step.